Hello and welcome back people. My name is Rizraf Shah. This is Chris Bridge and miracles do happen. They do yeah happen. guys, take a look at this headline. This broke uh, a few days ago and it reads medical miracle man's brain tumor vanishes without surgery and it's not just some random news outlet covering this story. Major news outlets covered this too and we've got a video of the story to show you. Take a look. It's a medical mystery that's left several doctors scratching their heads. A suspected malignant brain tumor banishes without treatment, giving a patient a second chance at life. It happened to a Lodi man who turned to his faith and the very community he has spent years helping. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is in Lodi with his incredible story. Several months ago, Lodi father and community volunteer Paul Wood realized something just wasn't right. I had massive headaches. Um, I couldn't walk down the hallway without holding onto the walls. You could see the tumor. Wood's primary physician sent him to a neurosurgeon at UC San Francisco who thought he had a brain bleed, although radiologists saw signs of a tumor. Wood immediately turned to his faith and his community for support. My phone's blowing up. My um, Facebook is prayer after prayer all over California. The day before surgery, Wood's operation was canceled. The reason? His suspected tumor was gone. It's a miracle and that's the way it got planted. Specialists say they can't explain why everything vanished. Wood's doctor can't either. We do tests, we have medical technology, and we try to come out with some conclusion. We're like detectives um, and sometimes things happen that we can't explain. Faith leaders at Gravity Church, where Wood is a member, believe when there is prayer in numbers, there is a higher power at work. He just kept saying, no matter what happens to me, I'm going to be okay. I trust God. And so that was an inspiration for a lot of people around him. Whatever it was, Wood is just glad for a second chance and an opportunity to teach others about hope. All story just breathes hope, knowing that, wow, oh, you know, even if you don't believe, I just want to encourage you. Needed a story like that mm -hmm. on a day like this. Carlos, thanks. Wood says the doctors are so intrigued with his recovery. They have asked him to volunteer to be a part of a research study. So what amazing testimony. And I just want to reiterate a few things that was said. Now, Paul Wood, the man who was healed, said before the miracle happened, I had massive headaches. I couldn't walk down the hallway without holding onto the walls. And he was referred to a neurosurgeon. And the neurosurgeon said his brain was bleeding, but radiologists said there was evidence of a tumour. Now, Paul, a Christian, turned to his community for support and received an overwhelming amount of prayer. He said, my Facebook is prayer after prayer all over California. And when doctors took another brain scan the day before his operation, they cancelled the surgery because the tumour had disappeared. And Paul said it's nothing short of a miracle from God. And uh, Paul's doctor couldn't explain why the tumour disappeared, admitting that there are some things that we can't explain. But can the Bible explain this? Well, let's look at James chapter 5. There's only one verse and it says, Pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. And I believe this is what happened to Paul Wood. He turned to his community for support and received prayer after prayer all over California. And prayer is so powerful, guys, especially in large numbers. And this story is a testimony of that. And uh, I think as Christians, we should never be afraid to ask for prayer from one another because it works and it is powerful and it does make a big difference in our lives. Oh, it does. It does. Yeah, it is sometimes like a reset mm. because you can be going downhill. Uh, this is maybe going off slightly slight track, but just literally talking on the prayer. If, if you're going downhill, your life's not going on the right path or, you know, you feel a bit lost. Prayer can really bring you back into line. Uh, God can straighten your paths and he can just make things just work out for you. So prayer is is absolutely vital. You know, of course, if you're if you're unwell or you're you're poorly, then yeah, prayer uh, can work. Does it always work? Is everyone always healed? We're not saying that, but we no. do say that 
um, we should definitely request and ask for prayer. It's about doing our best, isn't it, for mm. trying to help one another uh, in these times. And uh, ultimately, it's, it's, it's the Lord's decision on, on who is healed and who isn't. And uh, But regardless of, it will make a difference. Whatever happens, it, things will improve. They may not be the outcome that we were looking for, but they will improve. So um, never give up on prayer. It's always, it's so, so powerful. It is. So we should really be aware of that. And if mm. we're not very good at praying for other people, then let's maybe just uh, practice a little, practice praying for others. Uh, and ask guys, always remember to ask other people to pray for you as well. Don't mm. be afraid to come forward and say, you know, please pray for me. Do that. Absolutely do that. Because people generally rally around, don't they? Mm. If you need prayer. They it does do work. That. Yeah. It's sometimes yeah. easier for someone to pray for you. Mm. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. And uh, be aware of the people around you that you should be maybe asking, can mm. I pray for you as well? So mm. do that gently and uh, you will help a lot of people. So, all right, awesome, awesome, awesome. Love that story. Mm. Um, very, very encouraging. And it, was, it, was also, it is a nudge as well to pray for others as well. So that is a really good reminder. All right, people, moving on. Mission work in Pakistan. This is what you are funding. Do not turn this video off. Watch it to the end and take a look at the latest photos coming out of Pakistan. Take a look.
awesome stuff people uh, it's going so well thank you so much uh, again if you're new to the channel um, the, the viewers help uh, chip in to buy Bibles and then we uh, we our teams go out and preach the gospel um, we ask people to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior and uh, and we do uh, give out the Bibles and um, it's working it's, it is really really working so what we keep asking for um, if you want to help we don't ask if you can't afford it then don't help but if you do have a heart for mission uh, monthly support would be fantastic we did have a comment the other day saying how do I give monthly well it's on PayPal you go on PayPal there's a big button and it just says you know monthly support just click on that button and um, that helps us to plan forward, uh, buy more Bibles, and uh, plan for more missions. So, if you can give monthly, that's um, we're we're uh, we have, we do have a lot. I think we're probably like fifty percent there that, mm. that covers the bill for the for the Bibles on on the monthly payments. So we do have quite a long way to go, believe it or not. So don't expect don't assume that we've. And obviously that number's going up, that monthly number, the amount we're yeah. giving out is going up. We did a video the other day, actually. We did a compilation video, if you're new. And um, we've done almost 80 missions now in Pakistan, and we've given away over 4,500 Bibles. Mm -hmm. And the majority of those Bibles have been given away in the last several months. So um, it's growing very quickly. We do need your help. We do need your support. Mm -hmm. And um, if you do actually want to go look at that video, if you're completely new, you haven't seen the video, I'll put a link in the description box so you can kind of catch up and uh, see what's been going on. But it is very successful and we are making a huge, huge difference in Pakistan. So, um, yeah, join us on this journey. It's working, it's effective and people are being saved. And uh, we don't want to stop. We're not going to stop. So, uh, yeah, take take a look. And people sometimes ask that, that are new onto the channel, and quite rightly so, are you really buying Bibles? Are you really, really giving them out? Well, we're all about video evidence, and uh, we, we just love to show you uh, the results. And some people say, oh, should you really be putting up the photos? Can that endanger people? Um, that's kind of cleared, like, uh, that, that safety aspect. If we think that we're going to jeopardize anyone's safety, we, will not, we, won't, we won't do that. But the photos that we put up, we have permission to do so. Um, but we have to show you we have to show you the evidence if we don't then we'll just be talking about it and it just mm. won't work so um, a lot of good is coming out of this one yeah, i can assure you absolutely so it's going well all right people we leave it there again links links in the description box below if you want to help um if you've got any prayer any requests if you want to say hello if you've been watching us a long time and never said anything make sure you say something today uh, well, we'll look at that and um, i'm sure we'll get back to you so we love you and we'll see you later